time. Uh, a, a tough loss for your Colonial Club, and for the third straight uh, game, you have a second half lead, and uh, you watch it disappear. They played, you know, tough tonight. We we did a we did a good job, I thought, of working hard and doing the things that we've been preaching. So it was it was an unfortunate loss. Quinnipiac played a very good game. Um, you know, uh, you know, they did a great job. So, I mean, we, it was a hard-fought game, and, uh, you know, this wasn't any lack of days ago or lack of effort. You know, we, we, we fought them all the way to the end, and uh, they hit their free throws down the stretch, and I give them a lot of credit. They were very poised on the second game of this, uh, of this road trip that's always tough for those teams. Mary DeRoger, new career high, 25 points, and her seventh double-double of the season. She did a great job for us. You know, I mean, there was a point in the game where they had the lead in the second half, and it looked like they may extend it and put us out. And, you know, that and one underneath with Mary was a big shot for us. And, uh, you know, she was, she was coming up with those all game. And, you know, we just, you know, we just got a little bit, uh, like a days ago, a little bit once in a while. And, uh, you know, they made some runs with the, with the zone there, you know, uh, missing some assignments, not closing out on a few people. But, uh, you know, Mary was steady for us inside. And, um, you know, she did a good job, especially rebounding and putting the ball in around the basket. Coach, it seems like uh, for the past three games, it's been one individual player that's been your nemesis at Bryant last week, then Callum Taylor this past Saturday, and today it was Felicia Barron for the Bobcats. She did a good job. You know, she, you know, she's a very quick girl, you know, athletic. You know, they throw the ball out to her. Sometimes she gets behind the defense. You know, she, she runs the floor well. Uh, you know, she, she's definitely confident in taking the shot. And, uh, you know, today the ball went in for, you know, 6 for 14, 3 for 9 from 3. Those are decent numbers for her. And the big stat was 11 for 12, you know, at the end of the game, you know, hitting her free throws down the stretch for them. So, you know, give her a lot of credit. She did a good job. You know, she, uh, she only had two turnovers, and the ball was in her hands a lot. So uh, she's a good player. Another positive note was Artemis Spinu uh, rebounding after a couple of last lackluster basketball games against Bryant and uh, against Sacred Heart. 21 points, 10 rebounds. She was a plus two in the assist to turnover, and she had two block shots in 34 minutes. Yeah, you know, she'll be down on herself because she didn't shoot the ball well from the floor percentage-wise, but, you know, uh, 10 rebounds and uh, three assists, one turnover, two blocks. You know, those numbers there go, you'll go a long way for us. You know, um, some of those misses too, Mary was, you know, cleaning up and stuff. So, you know, it worked out in the end sometimes with her misses. But, uh, you know, I look at the 10 rebounds, the three assists, the one turnover, two block. You can't always just go by the, you know, field goals attempted and makes. You know, she, she played a pretty good game for us. I thought today we, we got better in a loss. I thought we got better. I really thought, you know, we had Sacred Heart pretty big and we blew that game. I was disappointed in the way we played. Second in the second half, this game here, I'd say with, even with Artemis shooting the way she shot, she didn't play poorly. She played hard. She did what she needed to do. The ball just didn't go in for her all the time. Well, Coach, it doesn't get any easier. You go on the road and take on the Monmouth Hawks, and, uh, you know, your team's lose, losers of seven of your last nine and three straights, but, uh, you know, this may be a game you can build off of. Oh, sure. You know, anytime you can go on the road and get a big win like that, you know, Monmouth, uh, we, we beat them by three over here. It was a close game, and uh, they're playing good ball right now. I, I saw that they won their last game, so... Um, you know, it's going to be a hard-fought battle, and you know the way we play today. If we can just do a few things better, you know, we could we could pull these games out now on the road. I mean, our road record's been tough early on in the year. Even when we started off so well, we were struggling on the road. Um, I think you know we're we're, we're making strides. You know, we're, we've got a lot of injuries, and and we're playing through them, and we're missing some people in our rotation, but. You know, we're playing through them and we're getting better. And today was a was step in the right direction. So if we play this hard on uh, Saturday, I really think we have a good shot of going out there and winning that game. Again, the final score, Quinnipiac 82, Robert Morris 74. The Colonials 9-8 and eight on the year, 3-3 three and three in the NEC. Coach Charlie, thanks a lot for your time. We'll talk to you again on Saturday. Thanks for everybody who came out, took a look around. We had a pretty nice crowd here tonight. You know, thanks for supporting us. Stick with us. You know, we'll keep working hard. Again, the final score, Robert Morris falls to Quinnipiac, 82-74. to We're going to take a timeout on the radio side, and we thank you for joining us here on rmucolonials.com.